<laughs> okay. Spacebar, tell me what to do. Ooh, lots to do here. Okay, I got the way to leave, and I got this one right here. Bloomsbury Cemetery. Rather unappealing. Oh, I don't know. It's got that fun gothic motif going towards it. Godalming Manor. I'm sorry, what's the name of this place again? Godalming Manor. God Alarm... It, it's God Alarming Manor. Godalming Manor. God Alarming Manor. God, God Alarming Manor. Wow, what a tip-off. God Alarming Manor. <laughs> Might not... Eh, sounds legit. God Alarming Manor. Let's try the doorbell of God Alarming Manor. God Alarming Manor. God Alarming Manor. How can I be of service? Hello, I am Professor Ernesto <laughs> Talking to an elf! From the Agricultural the University of New Hampshire, connected to the Center for Cheese Proficiency. What? I just retired, and have been looking in London for a quiet new residence that is large enough to shelter my expansive research materials. What? <laughs> or rather that of your employer, corresponds exactly with what I am looking for. Will you announce me so that he and I can discuss a potential offer? I'm a retired oh, cheese service exposer. He, he told you what? What? Your master, what did he tell you? Certainly to welcome visitors with politeness during his absence and allow them to wait in the lounge. Isn't that correct? The master told me to crush the big flies that buzz about here and bother his sleep. Even told me I could eat him if I wanted to. Bother his sleep. Interesting. I must find a way to enter this location. I think we just found Renfield. The elf. Okay, so your cover story is that you're a retired cheese inspector. How long exactly did you take coming up with that? I mean, did you... Did you just... Bring that up on the spur of the moment, or did you just spend the entire trip over here coming up with a suitable backstory? Sorry I skipped over that, don't think it was important. Rest in peace! Hey look, some big flies for Renfield to eat. Ugh, what stench! These flies are enormous and rather aggressive. They are unusual specimens. Hmm. They're ancient Transylvanian werewolf flies! The daylight guardians of the vampire farts. Well, that's not at all Silent Hill, or I can go in two directions too. Let's have a look see back here first. All right, we got this place right here. That looks like a puzzle lock. I can see it from here. Closed. Closed. Look, Frogwares, I can see the giant combination lock on the door. I can see it from here. Alright, we'll come back to it later. Hi, pal! Hmm. Two bottles of wine. Empty. I doubt if the Undertaker can offer me much help. <laughs> Is he literally just digging in the ground with his hand? Dude, you gotta get with your union. Seriously. Lips. Hello, my good man. I would appreciate some information on the house next to your beautiful... Oh, got me no time to natter like an old lady, mister. Got me a tomb to dig, and take my word for it, take no piece of cake. You are digging a tomb. Wouldn't one use an ordinary shovel for this kind of labor? Oh, right you are, mister. But mine is in the tool shape. And the combination lock is busted. Impossible to open the confounded door. Uh, I'm almost done anyhow. <laughs> the combination? And you do not know the combination of this lock? Well, you know, as it happens, it'd be the boss who put it on, see? It's stronger than the old one on accounts of the blighters who lurk around the cemetery at night this past while. He, he told me the combo... The music is building! This is gonna be big! Guess. You forgot it. Mister, now, I'd be a grave digger, me, not a pen pusher. Have to wait till the boss gets back to open it next while. I'll use my mitts while I wait. 
<laughs> Sir, seriously, do you need help? Have you worked here long? Sir? Long's my name. Oh, I've been slogging away here. <laughs> I used to work in tarring, you know. Oh, and I've bartended a wee bit too. Uh, now I got me the best of both. I'm dirty from morning till night, and the clients never complain about the service. <laughs> Optimism. Always look on the bright side of life. If Opening the shed. If you happen to remember some of the numbers, I could perhaps try to open it. All combinations have their logic, generally. Oh, ain't likely, mister. We're in a frog race game. Your logic has no place here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. He said that if I drew a blank, it would help to think of the ages of J.B. Lemon and his wife, marked on their mausoleum now. <laughs> a real joke of the boss. J.B. Lemon? Is this mausoleum located? Near the North Stairs, cross from the entrance, yeah. I ain't been to see, cause, well, I got me better things to do, I do. <laughs> Don't matter, cause, well, I figure, oh, well, if, if you think, yeah. Hey, now, he also said to flip the numbers I'd find. So, like, a six makes nine. Upside down. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so the combination are the dates on Mr. and Mrs. Lemon's grave, but you gotta flip them so that they're upside down. So a six is a nine, like a five would be a two. Yeah, five would be a two. An eight would be... An eight. Nine would be a six. Three would be infinity. Okay, we'll go back and try. I that. shall leave you to your work then. Right then, Gov. You know, be a real bitch puzzle lock, combination lock, is if they start throwing in like pluses, minuses, and minuses, infinities, and apostases. Whatever an apostasy is, it's like an apostrophe, but just more flamboyant. This might be useful. I am taking it. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, let's go on. Oh, that's... Don't blink. Don't blink! It is a martyred angel. Don't blink. This must have been a military or a sword collector. Either or. Okay, yeah, would have missed that if it weren't for the spacebar powers. A black veil. Someone must have left it here during a ceremony. I shall bring it to the Watchman, if I see him. This music is just trying so hard to say something interesting is happening, and nothing is going on. Seriously, violinist, calm your tits! Lovely flowers. They seem to resemble those that I saw at Mina's, but these seem to come from wild rose bushes. So these are nothing like at Mina's. Hey, look at that. That's actually pretty... I will give it this. These environments are definitely more visually interesting than anything I have seen in the Sherlock Holmes games. Maybe then, again, then again, maybe it's just because I was playing through all the Sherlock Holmes games in first person. Maybe I should have tried a bit, a bit of third. There is a martyred angel. That one there seems to have suffered particularly. Again, don't fucking blink. And either I came full circle or I'm... No, I'm just on the other side of the rant. So, let me see. Soundtrack's pretty good. Of J. B. Lemon. Really? Okay, here we go. Gotta scratch it off here. Yeah, because, you know, large-pointed instruments don't, you know, deal any damage to stonework. Okay, 1772... Alright. So, 703 to 1772. And... Susie Lemon. 1772 to 19... Perfect. I can read the inscription like that. Let's see. Uh, 1703, 1772, Lucy, Susie Ice Lemon, John Bruce Lemon, and Susie Ice Lemon. I feel like you're making a reference, but I'm not quite getting it. Susie Ice Lemon, John Bruce Lemon. 
and you gotta flip them upside down. So two is a f two is a five, and nine is a six. These are the only ones I think that I flip. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Rather sinister, this mausoleum, with its two monks at the entrance. Those aren't monks, those are Nazgul! It is a martyred angel. Really? It looks more like just a kneeling... eh, angel. Well, let's look around here one more time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I meant... What do you say? You said something. What was it? Hmm. This grate seems quite solid. Maybe if I bash my head against it enough, it'll break. Hmm. I didn't catch what he what he said there, so go back and pause if you want to know. Violinist, nothing's happening. It's okay. Chill out. All right. The same roses as a moment ago. They must be following me. This cemetery encloses some fairly imposing mausoleums. Real houses. I don't know why I put that in quotation marks, but it sounded cool in my head. There is a martyred angel. That one there seems to have suffered particularly. Oh, there's something. Alright. The same roses as a moment ago. Okay, so it's not the weeping angels I need to worry about, it's the weeping roses. Fast little fuckers. Alright, so let me see. Can I interact with this puzzle now? Do 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 do. Have me some pasta. Okay, so... Two mentioned dates of lemon... But what was I supposed to do with it? The difference in between the dates? Oh, okay, how long they lived. I get it, I get it. Um, I need a pen and paper for this. I know what to do. I get this puzzle. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just need my... I don't have my pen and paper. I'll be right back just a second. One, seven, two, two equals 68. Eight, which flipping the numbers makes it one, six, nine, six, nine, eight. Okay. Let's see if I'm actually doing this right, because I understand what I'm doing here. So if this works, this will be the most impressive thing ever, if this actually works. Please? Open. Oh my god, I am the best! Son of a bitch, I've been playing these games so long, I'm actually starting to solve the puzzles. <laughs> no walkthrough necessary. Awesome. This might be useful. I am taking it. I don't care what the rest of you think. What did he pick up? Iron bar? Oh, steak. Cool. Uh, take the shovel. A shovel? That could help the Undertaker. I don't know why I want to help him. It's just, it just feels good to help people. This statue was carved recently. Don't fuck- oh, what the fuck The Undertaker's mind? cloakroom, most likely. The Undertaker's storeroom, undoubtedly. What is in there? Just booze? A lantern. I'll take it. Night will soon fall. Alright. You know, this guy looks unnervingly a bit like Professor Moriarty from the Sherlock Holmes games. Well, The Awakened, not, you know... The, eh, he looks kind of like the one between there. I guess this is... I guess in his personal timeline it goes... The last one where he died, then it goes this, and then it goes The Awakened, as far as his aging goes. Let's test how I'm seeing it anyway. 
Oh. Also, I'll ask for Yorick. Just had to get that in there. 